Even with all the technological advancements in visual effects since the last Star Wars movie, for The Force Awakens, director J.J. Abrams insisted they record as much as possible in camera. But that said, they still ended up having to do 2,100 visual effects shots, leaving the VFX artists with the ongoing challenge of trying to get the movie to a place where the spectator stops questioning whether a scene is real or not, and can uninterruptedly follow the story. the 2009 movie Avatar, visual effects houses have been working with deep data, and The Force Awakens was no exception. Deep compositing, now included in most 3D render packages, creates deep pixels as opposed to regular pixels. A usual 2D image contains flat pixels with a standard RGB colour information, but a deep composite contains information for each of those pixels on multiple depths, similar to a 3D model but as a flat image, making aliased edges and artefacts a thing of the past. Okay, having a cat running inside a ball to control BB-8 is kind of a funny idea, but it's definitely not how they did it. But according to ILM's VFX supervisor, it was necessary to actually build an articulated mechanical droid for the actors to understand what they were reacting with and to breathe life and character into the droid. In the Juan Solanus movie, Upside Down, a film where two worlds orbit one on top of another, Solanus faced the challenge of having actors exchange dialogue without either of them looking like they were actually upside down. He wasn't happy with actors just interacting with tennis balls on a stick, so his team advised a master robotic slave camera to replace the movements of the master, allowing POVs to vacillate between the two worlds. If you enjoyed these VFX breakdowns, please smash that like button and let us know in the comments which movie you want to see next.